you guys actually enjoy me interacting with these guys? It's like the same thing every time. I mean, the conversation might be slightly different. Is that good enough? Is that good enough to keep your guys' attention? Is to have these conversations that are slightly different but always comes out the same way? What's that? Is it like a new Oh, uh, probably not. What's in them? Candy. Oh. What's up? <laughs> your name's Todd, right? Hey, I'm no. Just... No? What's your name? Ted. Ted, of course. How you doing, Ted? All right. Good. Um, so you got a new sign out here. Yeah. Well, yeah. Fridays are good because it's the Friday, right? Before the weekend. That's why it's good. So every Friday's good. Okay, but what about this Friday? If I want it's some... It's, it's, it's before yeah. Saturday, too, so it's good as well. <laughs> okay. Right? I'm Which is today. What's, what's that? We open up the calendar. It says Good Friday. Right, right, right. That's, people can just think, well, maybe they mean that for every Friday. What's wrong with Chick-fil-A? But they don't, because they, they only call this Friday Good Friday. Well, I think, I think last Friday is just as good as this Friday, which is just as good as next Friday. Yeah. That's cool. But this one's called Good Friday. Why'd they call it this one, this one Good Friday? Because it's, it's a good Friday. Maybe it's a special Good Friday because, uh, yeah. you know, it's yeah, going to be a better weekend. That's on the right track, right? There you it's go. Special Good Friday. Why, why is it special Good Friday? I don't know. That's what we're asking. What would you say? And then I can tell you. I just think it's before the weekend. That's why it's good. Okay. So that's, yeah, that's why you think this is Good sure. Friday? Sure. Okay. And then the other ones are just less Good Fridays for some I think reason. they're just as good because they're all Friday. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, now we'll tell you why this is good. Go ahead, Friday. tell me why it's even, why you think it's even better. Yes, because this is the Friday that 2,000 some years ago, Jesus Christ died on the cross oh, you, to pay you for think, our sins. Okay. You think, you think Jesus was alive and that he died on the cross? Well, yeah, I mean, I think the uh, vast majority of scholars would say he was alive. Well, it doesn't matter what the vast majority of people believe. What yeah. matters is why, do we, why should we think that he lived and died on the cross? Yeah. Right? yeah. We don't really have anything to show that, really. Well, we do. Actually. It's just stories after the fact, right? Well, where else in history would it be that we have some, like, way back then that we have something to show, like, at that exact time? We, we don't have anything to show at like, that time, because no, no one was a contemporary to Jesus' supposed existence. I think it was well after the fact, okay? What's well after the fact? Jesus' supposed existence. Everyone who wrote about him. No, no, like, what, how do you define well after the fact? Well, if he supposedly died in, like, 30 CE, that means that, uh, and all the stories are written well after that, then all, but, not, nobody's contemporary. But, well, what does well after that mean? You say that these things come well after so Jesus' death. It doesn't matter. It was just well after. No one was alive during his time, so it doesn't matter how far ahead. And the farther ahead you get, those, you know... Like, well, like, like if, you, if I tell a story in the morning, like we're in school, by the afternoon it's going to be very much altered, right? As it's passed around. Huh? Not necessarily. Always, 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 always. I wouldn't say that. Oh. Okay. And that's just one day. You guys want to jump in? Yeah. yeah. So um, there are 500 eyewitness accounts that... Um, 500? Where's that written? I don't, I don't know where the, the source is, but yeah. let's say it's okay, in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Yeah, five hundred eyewitness accounts, right? Supposed that, eyewitness accounts, as that it's written Jesus, in the Bible. That Jesus died on the cross and rose again, right? Okay. Let's just start with that Jesus lived. All right. There is more people who saw Jesus as he lived. I would say most historians would agree that he was a person, right? Yeah. That that, he lived. That, well, there's nothing really showing that he really existed. To tell you the truth. No one. What what what, did, what led you to that conclusion? No one can, during his supposed lifetime ever wrote about him. No one ever wrote about Jesus's lifetime during his lifetime. That is correct. Okay. You didn't know that. Why? Would, what would you say? Would you say that the four gospels were written after the fact? Yes, of course, definitely. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. The Bible's written well after the existence of. What, the what part of the Bible? What's that? What part of the Bible? Anything that talks about Jesus. Was written well after the well, fact, right after the fact that he was okay. So you would disagree the Bible is a story. Was ever a person. See, the Bible is a story about Jesus and God. You can't use the same story to justify itself. Jesus, the Bible is a story that Jesus was God. Okay. Right. That's that's what you said. It, that's not what I said, but 
What did you say? I, I said, I, I, one, like one more time? The Bible is a story about Jesus and this God thing. Right? You can't, okay. you can't use it to justify itself. So what would you say if Jesus said multiple times in all four of the Gospels that he is also God? Like, he is God. I, I don't even know what a God is, so... Well, how would you define God? I don't know. I'm not the one who believes in it. You, so you don't believe in any God? I don't know what it is. So, okay, if you were to have, um, if, if you were to have a God, how would you that describe means. I don't know what that means. I don't know what a God is, so I can't answer the question. But, like, you can think of how people use the word God, and you can think of that idea, right? Well, like, everyone's going to define it differently, so it doesn't really mean anything. Right, thing. so we're asking you what you would think. I don't know. I don't believe it. There's so many people that, that define it so many different ways. It doesn't matter what I think. What matters is, what is it? And how do we know it is what it is? Like, what is it really? Because mm -hmm. if we just ask people what they think, and everyone gives their own interpretation, then what are we really talking about? You know, if, if a word that refers to something isn't actually referring to something, and it's only referring to people's, you know, interpretation of what they feel, right. then we're not talking about anything. Right. And when you say I you would, actually believe in a God, I you don't would, really believe in a God, you believe in an idea of a God, because you have no idea what it is. So, your first part point, I would definitely agree. If there's a bunch of people, all of them think something different about God, I want to know what's true, which is the real one, right? All right. Right? How many, is truth, how many does world truth, religions? Does truth are matter to you? Truth does matter to me. Okay, good. Does truth matter to you? Of course. Of course, right? I yeah. want to know what's true. Right? Okay. Um, and there are how many world religions out there? Like, a ton. Like millions, right? Mm -hmm. You would say. There's so many different religions. All right. One of them's right. No. Nope. Like, why? Why would one why, of them, one of them have to be right? The um why would it why would you say that it, none of them are right? Well why isn't isn't the uh, isn't the conclusion either uh, uh, one of them's right, none of them's right? All right. Right. All right. Because because uh, when you talk about religion, you're talking about the existence of things we know nothing about. When you talk about a god and stuff like that, and you think, well, one of them has to be right. That means you're assuming there was a god. Right. Um, you shouldn't so, do that. You should never assume there's a god without so, knowing there is one. So. Um, let me tell you how I know that there's a God. Okay. If gravity was slightly more powerful, or slightly less uh, powerful, the world would Young not Sheldon come Show. Yes, I know about this. I saw that too. Yes. It's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. The That's show? Pretty bad. You don't like the show? The show or that point? So the show. Yeah. <laughs> but that point is really that the argument's really bad because. Why would you say? Why do you say it's a bad argument? Well, because you know, nothing to do with the God that we know about. We don't know what God is. So how is that gonna? help us understand the God. If, 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 oh, the world was slightly different in such and such a way, maybe life wouldn't exist as we know it, but it could still exist. We don't know. No, it couldn't exist. It well, could a lot exist. Of them in, any, in, in, in any sense, it, it does not bolster your belief in something intelligent creator. Because you're assuming that because it's the way it is, therefore it was created. It's an assumption. You, sh you should never believe in something based on assumptions. Would you say that it's an assumption? Okay. It's an assumption. Follow, follow You're assuming so intelligence created question, because it's a certain way. Question, maybe, it's such a not a, maybe it's related to assumption. Maybe. How would you define faith? Faith? Faith. 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 Without reason. Believe in something without reason, even though you know it's not so. Why did you add the second part? Yeah. Even believing without so. Without, like, not, like, that second part that you said. You said faith is believing without reason, and then you added something. Right, because what everyone, you, add you should never believe in something unless it's demonstrable. Unless it's what? Demonstrable. Demonstrable? Yes. Can you define? Able, able to be, be demonstrated. Able okay. to be demonstrated. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you believe that when you step out of the house that you could die? Sure. You could all die. I could die in this thing. Right. <laughs> you know? A lot of things can happen. So what? What's the okay. point? So we step out of the house or we go on a plane or we get in our car and we have faith that we're going to... No. You have reason to believe. You don't have faith. Faith is without reason. If I have reason to believe this will carry me. It could malfunction, but I have reason to believe most times it's going to keep up and it can let me do my thing and the people will be able to drive, you know, effectively. So I have reason to believe that it's okay. Okay, so how is intricate design of the universe any different? Okay, the word, you can't use the word design because you don't know it's been designed. So you can't call the okay. universe design. So, intricate, like, formulation of the world. Okay, well, just because something is intricate or complex doesn't mean that it was intelligent design. Because you, you, you can have order with some chaos. You don't need a, 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 some sort of supernatural thing. Granted, but when we talk is. about 
very intrigued at this end. Okay. Like we talk about, like she said, she brought up gravity. What does it matter how intricate it is or how 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 awesome it is? What is that? How okay. does that show that there's a so? If I have a bowl of spaghetti meat, right? Uh, analogy time. So, analogy time. Yeah, it's kind analogy of we, time. We, speak we love about. analogies. Over analogies here. are not supposed to be used as content. I, I understand all points being used. Okay. So I'm not but asking like, for analogies. But like, I think. Okay, so how else do you want me to explain? That? I want you to explain it with information that shows that what you're saying is true, not analogies. Analogies could trick know? the average person who doesn't know any better. Oh, that's analogy. That makes sense. Okay, I guess he's right. What's your standard of truth? How do you know what's true? Truth is the degree to which a statement corresponds with reality. So if you say something is true, how, how do we know it corresponds with reality? What is it? How do we know anything? To? Well, now you're going to get into epistemology. Yeah, but that, I mean, trying to question all of science isn't going to help you stick your God in there, right? It doesn't help you at all. In fact, it makes it harder for you to do that. I'm not talking about, like, God of the gaps. I'm talking about, like, yeah, epistemology is a, is a genuine thing to turn to when we are going to, like, exchange claims and exchange beliefs. Like, we need to get down to the fundamentals of where our beliefs are coming okay. from, right? So epistemology, I think, is a valid all right. place to go down. Fine, go down there. So you wouldn't agree with that? That what? That like epistemology. Like epistemology is important, epistemology. yeah. Okay. But you, yeah. but you, but you can't, you can't attack how we know everything without. You need to refer. You need to talk about this deity, what it is, where it is, what it's made of, how you know it's there, what evidence you have to look at to know it's there. Well, you have to do all those things. If that's what you're looking for, that's that's what any reasonable person Bible. should look for. If someone says something exists, yeah. they should know what it is and how we know it is what it is. Okay, and you think that that's impossible with the God of the Bible? Well, I don't even know what it is, so I can't say it's impossible. Okay, do you it depends on how you define is? a God. You have to define a God. Do you want to know what it is? I think a lot of people would like to know what a God is. Yeah. Okay, so that's in the Bible. You can read about it. Yeah, no, it's not. So it is. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one example. Isaiah 43, 10. It says, Before me there is no other God form, nor shall there be after. Yeah, I don't know what that means. What a God, God form, is that what you said? Do you want to know? That's why I asked you. Why would you ask me if I want to know if I've already asked you? Because, like, I just told you one thing. This is one example of where God is talking about himself in the Bible. Okay. He's discussing who he is, what his attributes are. You say that you don't He's the only God discuss. form? Is that what it said? It says he's the only God... No, it doesn't say that. It says, before me there was no other God form. Uh, in formed. other words... God formed, right. But, but, words, well, he's, he's defined himself with what... He, he his the word for him is. If we want to know what a God is, we can't use the word God when we're defining God. Okay, but, like, we can address that. But first of all, I want to say, like, you started by saying you don't know what God is. Right, no one seems to know what it is. And you can learn about it in the Bible. So if you want Not with to that know, sentence. What do you mean? Not, not with saying... Sentence. Not with a line saying, uh, there's no other God's form before me. Like, that doesn't tell me anything about what a God is. Okay, but do you want to know what that means? I wouldn't have asked if I didn't want to know. So that's what I'm saying. You can learn more okay. if you search for it. Like, well, what, if you search well, for it, you'll they find then tell me, can you tell me what it is then? Yes, it means that God was always formed. Like, he was always a being. He never was formed. Like, okay, that wasn't, I, I don't, that wasn't phrased well. <laughs> God is from everlasting to everlasting. He has always existed. Wait, wait, that doesn't tell me what it is. That tells you an attribute of it. No, it doesn't. Oh, it, it always existed? How, how, maybe the universe always existed. Why would we need a God for that? Maybe the universe always existed in some form or another. We don't need a God. How would it always have been? Like, how, huh? would it, how would it have always existed? Well, we don't know. But it could have. Just because we don't know how doesn't mean it didn't. The fact is we don't know enough about the universe. We don't know what the Big Bang was. Yeah, All so the Big Bang no is, is a description of uh, the continuance of the universe. It doesn't describe the creation of the universe. We don't know anything about it. We don't even know what needs to be created. As far as we know, the universe could have existed in some, in some form or another always. But, but you guys want to say, no, our God created it. Well, then you have to ask, well, what created your God? Well, nothing created it. Well, if nothing created it, then the universe could have been always never, never needed creation. Like, we, yeah. we need data, not just stories. And this is why we, like, I brought up the epistemology. Do you think the, the genuine nature of the universe has been conjured up in someone's mind before? Do you think, like, the truth has been thought about? Has someone thought the truth? Has someone thought the truth of how the universe could be? Yes. Well, I don't, I don't see how the answer could be how that question could be answered, it's possible. It's possible someone could have uh, come up with uh, a guess at it and, and maybe it's correct, but we will never know until we get that information to show that it's correct. And, oh yeah, this person long ago, we probably didn't write down, you know, was right. So we don't know until we get the information. Yeah. Well, here's what I can tell you. 
I have to go to class now. All but right. If you are ever interested in learning about who our God is, I just did. I express interest. Okay. So, so it's not I if I am number? ever. I am because I asked. All right. So then, let me get your number, and we'll meet up. Please. My number. Yes. And we can talk. About no, it's quite all right, to, my I'd, friend. I'd love to meet with you and discuss. Uh, well, with you, you just met with me right now, and I gave you a chance to explain no, yourself. How is that going to be any different if we meet up for coffee? Because I will bring my Bible, and we oh. will go over the So you need your Bible to try to... But well, the Bible's not going to tell me what God is, so... Okay, well, if you go into it with that mindset, then there's no point in this meeting, because you don't want to know. I do want to know, but I'm just telling you, the Bible doesn't tell us what a God is. Okay, so how does it... Well, okay. <laughs> we, can, we can go down that. But okay. if you want, I will meet with you, and we can talk. Quite all right, no thanks. All right. Sorry to get it, but it's all right, man. I appreciate. I give you plenty of chances. Well, I appreciate that you at least come up and you tell people that there's no way to know. So if you want to know, I didn't say there's no way to know. I just said we don't know. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, so, I'll, I'll believe in anything that shows to be true. You know, if if a God showed to be true, I'd, I'd believe in one you know, right away or tomorrow or whatever. You know, it, it, but so it, you it has to, it. we have to know what we're talking about and how we know it's real. We just can't believe in something extraordinary just based on a story alone. That's not giving us truth. That's just giving us fallacious belief. And, and we shouldn't go through life believing in lies. And, and you might think the religion is good and stuff and it's helpful and everything. But it, if it's without, if it's not demonstrable, then it's a lie. It's fallacious and it's bad. If it's not demonstrable, it's yes. a lie. Yes, yes. Everything that you believe in must be demonstrable. Everything. So, if you don't know exactly why something is, it isn't so. If, if mankind doesn't know, yes. Not just me, because I don't know everything. But if I doubt something that some scientist concluded, I can go look at his work. And I can put in the work to understand it personally myself. So, But I can't do it with you. It's not like you have anything to go by. Like, oh, here's a God. You just do this. Like, you have no such formula. So when you come up here... And we're saying this, and we start talking to you about Jesus. Mm -hmm. What is your goal? Education and awareness. What are you trying to be educated No, No, I'm trying to educate you. Okay, so you aren't interested in having your mind changed. Oh, I definitely am. I would love I would love to be wrong about something, because that means then I'll then be right. Because okay. I don't like to be wrong. But I'll never presume I'm right when I'm wrong, just to try to give the aura of me being right and, and not having faults. You know, we're human. You know, we make, we make mistakes. I could be wrong about stuff, yeah. but until I sh I'm shown that I'm wrong about something, you know, it, it would take that to show me uh, something to show that I'm wrong yeah. for me to, to to express that. Yeah. Well, I would submit to you that that's like always a possibility. We can always be wrong no matter how sure. demonstrable sure. something is. So that's why. We but, right, but, but until you can show that there is a God, you are wrong for believing that one actually exists, because that's no one should take this seriously unless they can be shown to be true. So but how if would you we show it's but, true? What's that? How do we show it's true? By, by showing, by defining it first off, and then through defining it, show us how you were able to define it, because that will give us the evidence to show that what you're saying is correct. I can talk to you about that at coffee. I can talk to you exactly. Yeah, about I'm it. sure you, you could. Right. But you don't want to know that, right? So, I do right. want to know. That's why I asked you. Okay, so then we should go get coffee. I'm asking you right now. Why can't you tell me right now? I should need to go and coffee with you for that. Okay, so I'll tell you what I just shared yeah, at one at, in the plaza here. You were preaching out here or something? Yeah, we all were. Oh gosh, great. I missed it. That's yeah. too bad. What kind of evidence are you looking for? Like I told him, something demonstrable. You must define what it is, and because you defined it, that means that that means that you therefore must be referring to something in reality uh, as your evidence to look at while you define it. Because if if, if someone, if let's say, let's use a circle you guys like to use, and there's someone in the outside of the circle saying, "Hey, look, there's there's a there's something exists." That means they're they're telling you that there's something in the world that they witness or they experience and that there's evidence of. That the reason why they're telling you that thing exists. If you ask them, "Okay, you're saying this exists. Where is it?" and they can't refer to anything in the, in the circle of knowledge we know about to show that it's true, then all we're, we're then all we're doing is and we believe anyways. We're just believing in the story they gave. They need to give a, a point in the circle that shows that, well, this is what I'm referring to. Look at, all they should be doing are being messengers of evidence in the world for us to refer to, to know what they're talking about. Okay, so if, um, let's say, talk about the New Testament, and let's say there is evidence to show that the New Testament, that the people who wrote the New Testament are reliable eyewitnesses who recorded the events, and if there was evidence, would you look into that? 
Oh, there is. We don't even know who wrote that, it. That, no, there is. If there is. I'm if there is what? If there is evidence to show that, okay, the people who wrote the New Testament, there is evidence to show that they were reliable people. And their we don't even know who they were. Extra yeah. biblical sources. We don't, we don't know who wrote the Bible. You're, you're answering the question without even examining the, the New Testament. Right. The New we don't, Testament. Yeah, we don't know who wrote, we don't know who wrote the, the Bible. Conclusion. And it was edited over time. No, if... No, see, you've already formed a conclusion. But you have to... She, she you have to... And, and you already tell her that what she's saying is not true. And you give you evidence that, okay, these people wrote it, and that these people were reliable eyewitnesses, and these records have been preserved. Okay, I'll, I'll go... I'll play on your little if statement. We'll, we'll go with your if statement for okay. a second, okay? If they were reliable, okay? Okay. All that can show us, if we were to believe that they're reliable, okay. is that there was a person, perhaps named Jesus, who exists a long time ago. But most... But... No, no... None of a story should never be used to believe in an extraordinary thing. So even if they are reliable, it doesn't mean that a God exists. We still need to show that a God, what a God is and how we know it exists. We can't go out of the story to believe in something like that. It's not, it's not reasonable. Okay, so let's, okay, we, we will go step by step. But first, do you believe that a person called Jesus exists? No, I, I doubt it. You doubt it? I doubt it. But then I would say... I'm a, I think a lot of people named Jesus exist. Okay. This dude cuts okay, my lawn. Okay, so... Um, most historians would agree that there is. There it doesn't was, matter. It doesn't matter. But but I mean, I could give I could give to you that Jesus could say just for sake of argument. I have no problem with that. Okay. But it's just it would just be a person and and, okay. and a loony. Mm -hmm. Now. Okay. So. All right. Uh, coming back to your definition on you. Okay. So you want us to define what a god is? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody needs to know what it okay. is. So. Nobody. Do you think that everything we believe in life has a definition? In order for us to know what we're talking about, like like if you say that, if I can use an analogy, if I can believe in this UC, I know how it works, I know what it is. For me to say I believe in UC, UC is it, it makes sense because because I know what it is. Okay, okay. So, hmm. if I ask you something like, how would you define something like consciousness or life or love? It's your brain working. Yeah, love is an expression, a connection, a expression, expression of emotions, like nothing to do with with a god that I know of. I don't know what a god is, so I don't know why you would even ask me that. If someone who did not even someone said there's someone, some alien that did not, that absolutely did not know what love was. What what was? What love was? Okay. Or what consciousness is? Like, okay. Can you explain? I, I, what's your? Do you have a point? Because I don't see the, the point of answering the questions. I don't you think there are some things that you have, you intuitively know without having someone to explain to you. That so you think you intuitively know that there's a god? No, I'm like, in, like, no, I'm just, okay, so you said that you wanted us to define what God is, right? So what I'm trying to get at is, don't you, do you believe that there are certain things that you intuitively know without having someone to explain it to you? No, I don't know. What, what, what's your point? What is your point? I mean, if I if you need to define a god, you should define a god and not try to talk about anything else but that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you. The, okay, what do you think a god is? What I think, I have no idea. I don't know. A lot of people believe in it's hey bro, any old thing, but they don't really. They don't, they, everyone believes in something different, so it doesn't matter what I believe in. I'm not the one actually believes in a god. Mm -hmm. Other people believe in. If, they, if someone says, "Well, it's, if, if God is real, then they have the burden too. They must tell me what it is." I don't need to tell them what this weird thing there is they're talking about. They sh someone, come, someone come to me and say, I believe in a blah. I'm like, okay, what, you, what is a blah? I don't know. What do you think a blah is? I'm like, I don't fucking know what a blah is. You, you told me a blah is real. So why should, I, I, I have no expectation to know what that is. You're the one who says it's real. So they must tell me what it is. It's up to them. They have burden of proof. The skeptic never has a burden of proof. They're just the one who questions. Do you think something that's like incomprehensible if it's incomprehensible, then we don't know about it, really. Well, what if it's only incomprehensible to you? Then I'm retarded or something. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Well, what if you learned about it and then... Well, then it wouldn't be unco incomprehensible to me, would it? But you have to learn about it first. Well, you, you, I think you're talking about ignorance. Like, if I was ignorant of the existence of something, but then I learned about it. That's something different. If it's incomprehensible, that means I can't learn about it. Because you're saying that I will never be able to learn about it. It's incomprehensible, quote, unquote. So I think you're talking more of ignorance. If you're ignorant about something, right? Is that what you meant? I guess. So. Okay. I might I might say like, hey, I know we've talked for a while. We've talked for the years or whatever, but I may have you 
we're going to have a classy chain, maybe slide over if you want to keep the conversation going, if that's okay. Um, is there something you were trying to get to, or you're just kind of, you like arguing, I know, so, or not arguing, debating. <laughs> I'm all about education and awareness, my friend. I hear you. I hear you. Me too. That's good stuff. Or is it? Because yeah, it doesn't look so. like it if you're here pushing a, a God thing. Yep. Yep. It doesn't really seem like that. Yeah, I, I guess we'll have to differ. Have to agree to disagree. I'd never do that. Yeah. Well, do that. we're different. Yeah. So thanks for stopping by. Did you want an egg? I, I don't want an egg, my Okay, friend. I didn't think so, but yeah. I don't want to be rude and not offer. Hey, bro. It was nice to meet you. I have to go to class. All right. Good to talk to you, ma'am. Yeah, You're cutie. <laughs> FYI. See you guys later. I'm still rolling. Still got a little bit left. You guys, that was a little bit more interesting than the last group I was interacting with. Let's go down here. See how much I stumped that lady? Mm. That's funny shit. God, that Indian chick is so hot, but she just believes in some shit that's not real. Let me tell you something. If you can deconvert a hot lady like that, who's into that religious crap, you'll have an awesome an awesome partner. Because she will know all the angles, even more than I do, about the beliefs and stuff people have. And she'll be a great asset. I have deconverted a couple of ladies in my life. Anyway, guys, uh, a couple of you have been asking me to do interviews or go on talk shows and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd be all for that. Um, I, I, I admit I really have not put, put an effort into it, um, but uh, I would be interested in doing that. So if someone watching is in touch with powers to be, whether it be <coughs> the... Uh, ACA or whatever they're called, or who else, uh, if you have the ability to uh, have a little pull, I wouldn't mind being on a show or do something like that. Uh, I was on the, what was that, Jesse Peterson show, but uh, I haven't really put any clips of that on there. Uh, to me, it wasn't really all that interesting, but it's nice to have been on a show that some famous people have been on, so that's cool. Um... Anyways, uh, yeah, so a little help with the uh, uh, with that would be awesome, and I hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, peace.